Distributional pattern and seasonal changes of gonadotrophs in the hypothesis of Indian river shad, Gudusia chapra, Hamilton, 1822, in relation to ovarian maturity. By Shrapni Barun. The present study aimed to determine the seasonal environmental influence on the cytology of the pituitary gonadotrophs in relation to the gondal maturation of clupid fish Gudusia chapra by using various modern staining techniques. Reproduction performs under the influence of various external factors. It intervenes in their effect through the hypothalamo-hypophysial gondal subsystem. It operates as an organic axis bridging the ecological influences and gondal maturation. The function of the pituitary is mostly controlled by the hypothalamus through the synthesis and release of GnRH. Therefore, acting as a major initiation of the hormonal cascade controlling the reproductive axis information is collected through the hypothalamus and is passed on to the hypophysis the hypothalamus releases the gonadotropic releasing hormone gnrh which exerts its effect on the hypophysis pituitary to release gonadotropin hormone from gonadotrophs of the pituitary The gonadotrophic hormone helps in gondal maturation and sex steroid production which plays a very important role in oogenesis the final maturation of oocytes The pituitary gland of G chapra is craniolaptobasic type it is generally composed of neurohypophysis and adenohypophysis The adenohypophysis is divided into three parts viz rostral pars distalis RPD middle proximal pars distalis PPD and massive pars intermedia pi the major part of the rpd is occupied by the acidophilic prolactin cells prl stained with acid fuchsin fewer adrenocorticotropic cells acth were scattered among prolactin cells the basophilic gonadotrophs gth and thyrotrophs tsh reacted positively to aniline blue and periodic acid shifts PAS were distributed in the anterior and middle part of PPD. The neurohypophysis in G chapra is composed of axonal nerve fibers originating from neuronal cell bodies of the hypothalamus. These nerve fibers extend as narrow strips into the pituitary gland and are found to be closely associated with the blood vessels. The somatotrophs STH were the only acidophils that were identified. Melanocyte stimulating hormone MSH stained with aniline blue and melanocyte concentrating hormone MCH stained with acid fuchsin were identified in PI During the growth and maturation phase both GTH and TSH cells were distinguished by intense staining and dense homogeneous granules with maximum cellular diameter During the post spawning phase both cells showed low staining intensity The seasonal changes in the ovary of G chapra have been described on the basis of variation in the gonadosomatic index GSI value and frequency percentage of the different female germ cells The gradual change in the ovarian cycle has been correlated with changes in GTH and TSH cells in the pituitary of Gudusia chapra These studies would help to ascertain the proper maturity stages of gonads and the knowledge of control mechanisms of reproduction. And these findings can be manipulated to accelerate or delay oogenesis in brood fishes. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel for watch more scientific research videos.